When someone mentions weightlifting, most of us imagine a muscle head or a jerk from the gym, but this isn't what you should be thinking at all. As for myself, I've been weightlifting for five years and I can personally attest to all the benefits I've gotten from it, but I'm not here today to tell you about myself or the benefits I have achieved. Today, I want to tell you about some of the statistical facts and what doctors have to say all about it. Many gym goers who lift not only go to benefit their bodies, but also their minds and their spirit. Many people tend to forget that lifting weights can serve multiple purposes that strengthen your overall well-being and not just your muscles. After researching, I found that lifting weights can benefit your, your physical, psychological, and emotional well-being. All of these contribute to who we are and who we plan to be. But before I get into these benefits, let me explain the simple principle that weightlifting is based upon. And this is known as the FIT principle. The F in FIT stands for frequency, or how often you work out. The I stands for intensity, or how challenging the workout is for you. The first T stands for time, which is the allotted amount of time that you plan to complete the workout. And the second T stands for type, or the type of exercise you plan on doing. This is the basis and foundation of a good workout, and that what you should keep in mind. Along with the FIT principle, another important factor in weightlifting is also known as supplements. These supplements are made to improve athleticism and strength. And not everybody has to take them, but most people do. Some include whey protein, which reduces recovering time and also adds a daily amount of recommended protein to your diet. And many people actually take it, even though who don't lift, to get enough protein. Creatine, which causes your muscles to retain water in order to re reduce recovery time as well and increase your muscle mass. And also recently in the past couple years, a product known as pre-workouts have become very popular. As for myself, I don't take pre-workouts due to the high caffeine content and some of the negative effects it can have on your heart and cardiovascular system but when taking a minute amount, they can be pretty beneficial. Now that I've explained the fit principle and supplements to you, let me continue with the benefits. The first one being your physical well-being. According to research published by Forbes Magazine's health articles in 2012, weightlifting's most popular benefit is obviously bigger muscles. This is caused by a tearing of the muscle cells themselves, which is also known as hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is actually a growth of the muscle cell itself and not just the overall number of muscle cells. This is results in a higher muscle mass percentage and can also decrease your body fat percentage. Bigger muscles is one of the least important benefits though that you should remember about weightlifting. The more you work out your muscles, the more glucose they will actually draw from your bloodstream, which can reduce your risk of diabetes. Also, mentioned by Livestrong.com, Weightlifting can reduce the amount of visceral fat surrounding your organs, which also reduces your risk of cardiovascular disease and many other diseases that can contribute to adipose tissue. Also, it can help reverse the aging process by counteracting a process known as sarcopenia, or the gradual loss of muscle over time just due to lack of use or age. Weightlifting strengthens your body's overall structure as well, and by doing this, as your muscle mass and force increases, your bone mass and your strength must also increase as well to keep up with both of them. As it grows, these muscle fibers continue to grow as well, which can actually cause a slight increase in your height or a size of your arms or chest or whatever appendages you may be working out that day. Along with physical attributes, weightlifting can also bring about psychological benefits. It, the, the psychological benefits can help any age group, regardless of your fitness level or how used you are to working out. In an article published by Dr. Lynn Kravitz of New Mexico University, who is an, also an expert in uh, exercise physiology, lifting can actually reduce your anxiety levels. After performing a test on two subject groups, where one group was forced to do cardio workout and the other group was forced to lift weights, the weightlifting group actually showed an immense decrease in anxiety versus the cardio group. This was due to the amounts of dopamine being released in the brain at the time, which was due to a 200% increase over the cardio group. And this chemical is actually respond for the amount, it's responsible for the amount of happiness in your brain. And as you can see here, the dopamine process was, shows us it can be much higher in lifting weights than versus cardio. Also, working out can increase coordination within, in the elderly, as well as their nervous system function. As explained by Michael Stone, an exercise physiologist and contributing author to humankinetics.com, as we age, our nervous system can deteriorate from lack of use, but lifting weight can cause our bodies to adapt to muscle memory, and by doing so, 
This, is for, this forces the brain to work the central nervous system, also reducing the amount of deterioration to our central nervous system. But more importantly, what you should also remember is that it can benefit you. Neurological adaptations within the brain due to muscle memory can cause more neur neural impulses and activity within the frontal lobe, leading to an improvement in brain function. And this brain function can bring about help with studying, critical thinking, tests, and whatever you might be doing. Another important factor in weightlifting that can help you is it can help you deal with your emotions. Many of us have our own ways of dealing with stress and coping with the day-to-day -day struggles that we face. We're also boosting our self-confidence, but lifting weights can help improve both of those. As stated in the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's website, lifting offers many ways to cope with stress by allowing you to take it out in a healthy way and also build yourself up. Many people tend to bite their nails, overeat, or be simply become overwhelmed with stress on a day-to-day -day basis. Lifting weights can help channel all of this into a healthy way that you can even imagine. It can also be a great confidence booster due to the possible positive physical changes you see in yourself over time. The media and society today has set a ridiculous standard for what we must look like in order to keep up with our peers and who we think is popular or celebrities. Weightlifting offers a way to get around this by bettering yourself over time and seeing a gradual increase in your physical appearance that you yourself can set the standards for and over time you will see your own progress and become happy within yourself for who you are and not who they are. So in conclusion, as you can see, Weightlifting plays a much larger role in our day-to-day -day life than just making your muscles bigger. It has proven to increase your physical, psychological, and emotional well-being. So next time you think of weightlifting, don't think of the muscle head at the gym. Think of who you could become and how it can help you. Thank you. Trip Halstead was just a toddler when he experienced one of the scariest things he would ever have to endure. While playing outside, his head was crushed by a 100-pound tree branch that fell unexpectedly. Obviously, Tripp was in extreme critical condition. In order to receive the best care and treatment possible, his family moved an hour away from home so that their son could be served by the Atlanta Children's Hospital. His family had nowhere to stay in the big city, though. Fortunately, a unique charity came to their aid, and it was here that the Halstead family was introduced to the Ronald McDonald House Charities. Today, I will tell you about three services that the Ronald McDonald House Charity provides. The houses, the family rooms, and lastly, the care mobiles. First, I will introduce you to the Ronald McDonald Houses. The Ronald McDonald Houses, like this one in Louisville, are similar to hotel rooms, and they allow families to stay at little or no cost so that they can rest and still be close to their child that is sick or injured in a hospital. In many ways, they're similar to hotel rooms. Families receive a private room, and these private rooms allow the family to unwind after a hard day, and they also allow for families to care for other children that they may have brought along on the trip. The service that seems to be most appreciated and most important, though, are the meals that are provided by volunteers throughout the community. Hundreds of volunteers make food for the people staying at the homes. There are many guidelines, though, that are set in place by this charity. The charity itself provides all the cooking utensils and pots and pans, but the volunteers are responsible for going out and getting the food and then bringing it back to the house and preparing it physically at the house and then serving it and cleaning up afterwards. The routine and strictness of the meal preparation at the Ronald McDonald House is made to make the families feel like they're receiving a home-cooked meal made by families in their very own kitchen. Above all the services, though, that the house provides, it enables support to be shown through the abundance of families staying there. Kendra Whites, a mother who experienced the care of Ronald McDonald House Charities, explains her feelings about this special place by saying, you run into other people and you realize that they're in the same situation as you are, and you realize it's just a really caring place. The houses have fam several families living in them, which provide opportunities for stories to be shared and support to be given. While the Ronald McDonald Houses provide a unique place for needy families, the charity created something even more unique. The Ronald McDonald Family Rooms provide a place in the hospital for families just to relax but be even closer to their children than they would have been at the hospital or at the houses. The majority of people who take advantage of the family rooms are people who live in the community or people who are already residents at a Ronald McDonald house. 
According to an article in Burlington Free Press, over 500 people use the Ronald McDonald family rooms in one month alone. Like the houses, the family rooms also allow for support. By having a place like this that's actually in the hospital, several families can meet together and support each other and different stories can be shared right after they happen. Louisville has their own Ronald McDonald family room in Norton Suburban Hospital, Cozair Children's Hospital, and also Fraser Rehab. Meals are provided for families in the hospital, uh, made by the volunteers also. The volunteers can come and clean and make snacks and also be there just to support the family when they need it. They're much like the houses in many ways, like this one here in the picture. There's couches that the family can just relax. In some of the family rooms, there are um, showers and beds available if the family just needs to sleep for a little while. Families are second away from their, seconds away from their child, and children also know exactly where their parents are and are able to get to them if need be. The Ronald McDonald houses and family rooms provide assistance for many in their communities, but this charity wanted to take this sense of community worldwide. The Ronald McDonald Care Mobiles are taking the idea of care to the next level. According to an article by Michelle Costillo on CBSNews.com, 216 million children have died before they turned five years old since 1990. And many of these deaths have been caused by preventable diseases. Ronald McDonald House Charities wants to change this statistic. Caremobiles are giant vans that travel around developing countries and also some cities in the U.S. and they provide medical care for people who may not have the opportunity to receive it. The vans are 40 feet long and 8 feet wide and they cost around $500,000 to get into different communities around the world. The Caremobiles provide many services. They provide health and screening tests. They provide prenatal care. There's development, development screening for kids. They provide immunizations. And then more recently, and what's becoming more popular, is that they provide dental care. Caremobiles are just another way to provide health care to people who need it most and otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity to heal. In conclusion, we have discussed three things that the Ronald McDonald House Charity provides. The houses, the family rooms, and lastly, the Caremobiles. These things all provide a unique and special opportunity for a family who is in need of health care in some way. According to a study by the American Psychological Association, parents staying at the Ronald McDonald House said that the experience that they had contributed to the well-being of themselves and also of their child, and some also said that it contributed to their child coming home faster. The Ronald McDonald House charities always say that children heal faster when their family is close. When tough times come along, we need the support of our families to get us through it. The Halstead family needed to be close to their son, Tripp, when he was suffering after his accident. What if it were your child? I'm pretty sure we can all agree that we would want to be as close to them as possible. Thank you.